This is StormTrack 12. A pretty quiet start to your week for today, but we're tracking some much more active weather for tomorrow. But taking a look at satellite and radar right now, we are staying pretty quiet with just a few clouds passing overhead, and we are expecting to keep a mix of sun and clouds with us throughout the day today. But here's what we're tracking for tomorrow. This is a look at Tropical Storm Isaias on satellite and radar right now. It's making its way up toward the Carolinas, where it's actually expected to make landfall later today and into tonight. But it is expected to keep tracking up the East Coast, and it will have an impact on our weather for tomorrow. I'll talk more about that in just a minute, but current temperatures right now are in the 70s and 80s. Sydney at 77, Norwich and Green both at 78 degrees, Binghamton at 74, Conklin's at 75 degrees, and Appalachian is at 82 degrees. For today, we could see a few isolated showers pop up in the afternoon and evening, but for tomorrow, we're still keeping an eye on the track of that tropical storm because we are expecting some pretty heavy rainfall from that storm. But then after that, we're looking at some quiet weather for the rest of the week and some much more seasonable temperatures. So here's a look at the current track of that tropical storm. It's currently making its way toward the Carolinas, where it's actually expected to re-strengthen into a Category 1 hurricane later today and then make landfall on the Carolina coast. And then after it makes landfall, it is expected to weaken again into a tropical storm as it continues its track up the east coast. And we'll be seeing some impacts from that storm throughout the day on Tuesday and into the overnight. Here's a look at the excessive rainfall forecast for Tuesday into Wednesday. Much of our area is in that marginal risk, so that's the lowest risk for excessive rainfall, but some of our more eastern counties are in that slight risk for excessive rainfall, and those counties are the ones that have that flash flood watch in effect. This once again goes into effect starting tomorrow morning and lasting through Wednesday morning for Delaware, Otsego, and Susquehanna counties. Here's a look at just what one model is projecting for rainfall totals for Tuesday into Wednesday. Once again, keeping that heaviest rainfall off to the east, Delaware and Otsego County seeing anywhere from about two to three inches of rain, but locally a few places could see a little bit more than that. And then as we track west, those rainfall totals start to decrease. It looks like most of us will see about half an inch to two inches of rain from this system. But from this system, we could see some very heavy rainfall and once again, some flash flooding. That's why we have that flash flood watch in effect for a few of our counties. But wind isn't going to be a big concern as those gusty winds are expected to stay well off to our east. But some good news is we aren't expecting any major river flooding. We've been very dry recently, so river levels are very low right now. Here's a look at future track throughout the day today, keeping partly cloudy to mostly cloudy skies with us throughout the day. And once again, we could see an isolated shower or two pop up into the early afternoon, and that continues throughout this evening. Then we see a little bit of break in the rain before some more rain starts to move into our area throughout the overnight and into tomorrow. High temperatures today are expected to top out in the upper 70s and low 80s, and then by this evening, we're dropping back down into the 70s, and low temperatures tonight will be in the 60s. But here's a look at the rest of your seven day forecast for today. Just a slight chance of a few showers with a high of 80 degrees. Most of us are going to see some rain from that tropical storm on Tuesday. A few showers could linger into Wednesday morning, but then we're looking at some quiet weather with much more seasonable temperatures for the end of your week.